during the patient forum at the EPMT HAKRT meeting, um, as you recall, the speakers um, were able to emphasize the need for robust tools to monitor and comprehend the impact of CAR T cell therapy on patients' quality of life. Um, and they also underlined that uh, we have various, inis various initiatives um, underway in Europe that are um, collaborating in the effort of filling the need of adequate tools and um, um, yeah, tools that are capable of capturing such data. And uh, specifically, a Titoable project uh, seeks to address this gap as well. T2 Evolve, as a background information, um, is an European consortium of 29 partners that was funded by the EHI and EFPIA and started three years ago uh, with the goal of accelerating the development and improving access to the T-cell engineered therapies in Europe. Um, the T2 Evolve overall strategy um, involves identifying needs and gaps through a tower of landscape exploration and within the CAR T field, going from preclinical assessment tools limitation all the way to patient journey challenges, including accessibility and quality of life. And this exploration um, aims to facilitate a faster solution process that is supported by the engagement of diverse stakeholders. Um, and of course, by involving uh, stakeholders such as patients, uh, caregivers, nurses associations, and of course, patients uh, advo uh, advocacy groups. T2 Evolve aims also to ensure, um, let's say, comprehensive understanding of the challenges, the requirements in developing effective tools uh, for monitoring the patient, um, the patient needs, and also uh, filling the existing gaps in the patient journey. For example, uh, the lack of informational and educational material, um, or for example, um, the informed consent form uh, needs that might be um, erasing, um, and also uh, the pre, during and post infusion quality of uh, life data lack. And of course, the engagement with different stakeholders uh, is crucial um, because this is also allowing creating solutions that can truly and accurately capture and address the needs of the CAR T therapy uh, patients. And finally, with the aim, uh, of course, of informing um, the health system uh, decision makers. Um, and this engagement, it's been also uh, crucial, um, of course, for uh, the development and the uh, design of the T2Evolve patient survey that was launched beginning of 2023, and that was addressing um, model patients with hematological malignancies that underwent CAR T therapy. Uh, the survey included five different sections uh, covering patient history, um, challenges um, of the CAR T therapy journey, also information on ed educational material, informed consent form, and quality of life uh, with validated questionnaires uh, that we also um, modify. And the survey was available online from the, um, the end of January 2023 until the end of October 2023 in seven different languages. And uh, 400 patients from 10 different countries um, have been able to provide their feedback. And they were um, in this way also revealing important aspects of the CAR-T experience that t 2 will try to address utilizing the incredible network that actually the, this consortium and the stakeholder community around this consortium has built in the past two years.